Hey, what's up everyone? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm coming to you with the fifth tutorial in my Adobe InDesign sort of series. And this is gonna be on flowing text. So getting text to come into one text uh, box and then go into the next and then the next and the next. And this is really helpful if you're making, for example, um, a book and you know you wanna add text into one page and like most books, the text will go to the next page and the next page and the next page and the next page. And so we're gonna be importing the text from a Word document because that's you know where you're gonna write this stuff up. You're not gonna do it in Adobe InDesign. And then we're going to import it straight from that, put it in Adobe InDesign, and yeah, it should look really, really cool. So let's get started. Let's just go ahead and create ourselves a new document right here. We're gonna just make it two pages. Uh, settings don't really matter for this. You can do it with really anything you want. So we're gonna go ahead and first click the type tool right here. And we're just gonna create some templates of where we want our text to go. So let's say we wanted to create a page like this. Um, and then there was gonna be like, I don't know, an image there. So we're gonna have this right here. And then we're gonna have one over here that's a little longer and then a short one down here. And then one really long one, big one down here. Beautiful, everything is perfectly centered just how we want it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is just for the example. Um, you'd want to go through and you know maybe make these a little bit more centered on the page and stuff like that. But for this example, it's going to work out pretty nicely. So first off, what we want to do is we want to make sure nothing is selected. So go back to your selection tool, have nothing selected, and click on the outside the board here. Then we want to go into File, down to Place. You can use Control D on your keyboard to get here quickly, and then go and find the Word document. So if we go to examples right here, that's the one where I saved everything at. I just went onto Wikipedia, I hit random article, and then I copied an article so I could have some, you know, some text to throw in here. So as you can see, it's right now inside of my cursor. So I go to the first text where I want it to go, and I click on the box. And so it threw in as much as it could get into here. Then we click on the little plus in the bottom right, and we throw it in, oops. And you'll see it's reloaded. That's the rest of it. Throw it into the next one. Click on the plus. Throw it in the next one. And the next one. And then finally throw it into the last one, which should end the article. Yes, so there's no plus. So that means everything has been grabbed from the Word document. Now, to make this all look a little bit better, I'm going to go hit, uh, click on the first one. And since they're all linked, I can actually click on the first one and click Control A. Whoops, uh, get to the text, control A, and you'll see, since they're all linked, it knows this is all one giant text file. So when I control A, it isn't just selecting this box, control A is select all. It isn't just selecting all of the box, it's selecting all of the text. So it selects it all. And why I did this is we're just gonna go up to here. Um, it should have, it'll either be here or here. Just make sure you're clicked on the paragraph formatting controls, and we're going to uncheck hyphenate. And that just makes it so the words will end here and there isn't a bunch of you know hyphens and words split up because I just don't like the way that looks. What's really neat about this right here is if you'll notice, if I, for, uh, for example, if I go here and you're know, like, let's say make this one really short, it doesn't destroy anything. It pushes it all to the other ones and it keeps pushing it out. And you'll see that it pushed it so far that I just need to create another text box to keep it going. But then again, I could just take it and make it longer again, and then it adjusts all of them accordingly to fit. Really, really kind of simple technique, but extremely powerful, especially if you're like creating a template. You can draw all these text, book, uh, text box at first, just draw them all out, and then all you have to do is click place, and then just link them all together like this. And now we can make changes, and it'll always make sure that they are all exactly how they're supposed to be. Thanks everyone for joining me for this quick tutorial. Uh, really simple one, but something that's very, very powerful, something that can help you a lot in your design work. If you want to see more Adobe related content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you got any suggestions or comments, anything like that, throw those in the comments below. And until next time, guys, see ya.